Here are five things to learn about turtles. One, know which turtles are native to Minnesota. This is a native Minnesota turtle, the Eastern Painted Turtle, and it lives here year round at Green Heron Pond. They're so colorful with bright yellow stripes and a beautiful red plastron. This is a little male turtle. The way you tell a male is by their tails and their cloaca. So the opening for going to the bathroom is farther away from the shell and the females is closer to the shell. Generally females, especially if they're laying egg age, are quite a bit larger than the males. They need the bright sun, which helps them create vitamin D and build calcium in their shells. And without that, they will die. You've probably seen turtles sunning on the logs and stretching out their legs to get a suntan. Number two, the pond is their dining room. Here at Green Heron Pond, it's a great habitat for turtles. They eat minnows and dragonfly and caddisfly larvae, which are underwater bugs. They don't just eat protein, they also eat various types of pond plants that float in the pond, duckweeds and other plants. It's their pond salad. So if you see a turtle crossing the road, you wanna pick them up from behind because they're, especially if it's a snapper, you wanna keep your fingers supporting his plastron. Don't pick him up by his tail because that could hurt the turtle. They do have long necks that can reach around and bite, especially if it's a snapper, but this is not. Always take him in the direction of travel. So if he was crossing the road this way, I want to make sure I'm taking him that same direction and then just releasing it safely out of the way. So they may not be going towards water. They may very well be going up to a nice little hill or sandy spot where they can dig a beautiful little hole and lay their eggs. Turtles are kind of the opposite of frogs and amphibians. They lay their eggs on land, then go back to the water. The fourth thing that's really important to learn about turtles is that we need to protect their habitat. Ponds and wetlands where they live can get polluted if we're not careful. So one thing to do is always pick up any trash or litter so it doesn't get washed down the storm sewer. The fifth thing to remember about turtles, they need their own pond to live in. It's fun to catch them but we always like to release them in the very same spot where they came from because if you put them in a new pond they could not find their way around so we're gonna thank this little guy we borrowed him for a little while for shooting and we're gonna let him go right back here in Green Heron Pond so he can find a nice sunny log stretch out get a suntan find the bugs he needs to eat he knows his way around it's his home there he goes back to the pond good job little turtle Go find your mates.